Hey there, Virgo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. Take it if it resonates. Leave it if it does not. You do not have to be a Virgo for this to resonate for you. And if you are cross-watching, you might have to vice versa the rolls. We're using the Energy Oracle cards to start your reading. Let's go ahead and get into it, Virgo. Let's see what's coming out for you guys. I feel like I'm having deja vu right now. Oh my goodness. That's very interesting. Okay, anyways, so for Virgo, please and thank you. Woman holding a heart. She looks beautiful doing it. Master number 44. Oh, I'm hearing, um, I, there's a masculine that's telling me this woman has my entire heart. I trust her. I love her. I couldn't do it without her. I don't want to say I need her, but you know what? I do. I need her. I need her. But I think I need her because I just want her so much. This is somebody that's like completely open in all ways. I mean, not just emotionally available or, you know, they've got an open mind and, and stuff like that. No, it's like they want to open their life, their soul, their legacy to you. Everything. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? Now I'm thinking alfalfa. <laughs> Dear Darla, I hate your stinking guts. <laughs> Anyways, second chakra, Archangel Ariel. That was so off topic, you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Yin Yang. Financial constraints. Broken heart. Oh, somebody feels horrible that they cannot afford or they don't have the time to give to this beautiful woman holding a heart because she deserves it. She deserves all the time. She deserves all the things, all the vacations, all the rings, all the, all the, anything that she wants. She deserves it. She deserves it all. And I want to give it to her, but I can't because I don't have the time. I work so much or I don't have the money because I already, you know, provide so much or whatever this is. It's like somebody feels like they want to do more. They want to be able to give more. They just don't have that right now. And it's like, oh, it's eating them up. We've got 44, 22, lucky number 13. Three, six, nine. Okay. This is deep. You guys already have a very strong bond. You've already been together for quite a while. So I do not feel like I'm talking to my singles in this reading. Guys, I'm sorry. Try to catch me in the next one. Um, although some of you singles, you might actually um, be separated from this person. And so you're broken hearted here. You feel like you're nothing without them or... Um, they, they brought so much joy and happiness to your life, or you've been with them for so long. You don't even know what to do with your time now. You're like, I don't know who I am without this person. So I guess singles, you could resonate, but that's like a really negative kind of vibe. Um, I definitely like the other story, <laughs> right? But I'll read both since I'm channeling both. Let's see. What does the sacred heart want to bring to the table for Virgo? Please and thank you. Got a flipper. Yeah. I told you, there's a very strong bond connection between the two of you. Maybe it is a little bit toxic, you know? Maybe it is. But you know what? It's y'all's connection. So I'm, I'm not trying to sit here and judge. You know? Maybe one or both of you is... Uh, not conceited, um, codependent. I feel like this woman holding a heart doesn't even need all this shit. She just wants her man, you know, or her woman, or his man, his woman, whatever. You know what I mean? His, his, hers, hers, his, and hers, whatever. But yeah, it's like this person just wants to spend time. 
could be you, could be them. And then the other person here wants to give everything and beating themselves up because they can't give everything. But the person they're trying to give everything to doesn't even want everything. Y'all need to talk. Sun card. Yeah, you need to talk. You need to clear some shit up. Y'all need to sit down and have this conversation. Because somebody feels like they're struggling when really they're going above and beyond. So quite the opposite. Quite the opposite. Let's see what else we get. For Virgo, peace and thank you. The Fool. Yeah, just go for it. Just have this conversation. Clear the air. Reset. Clean slate. Because there are some negative thoughts here that aren't true. There's an illusion. Oh my gosh, as soon as I said that, look. Seven of Cups and what? Two of Cups. There is an illusion in this connection. There's something that seems to be one way, but it's not. It's not. It's not. Somebody's taking a leap of faith in regards to this connection and this confusion because there's only one energy that causes confusion. All right. Clarity, confusion. You see the difference? It's very obvious. Basically, one version has hope, the other version don't. Confusion is like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But the sun is having all the answers, and the fool card is saying, shit, I don't even need the answers. I'm ready. I'll take it. It's a risk I'm willing to take. You know, and this person is like, I, I would be broke, you know? I would be broke with you. It's not about the money. It's not about the stuff. It's about you and me and I want you. I don't need these things. I need you. Y'all are going to make me cry. I ain't even going to lie. Like this is uh, the emotions. I can feel it. They're so intense. Somebody feels like they are not going to be appreciated unless they can give you everything under the sun. And that's just some hogwash bullshit. Nobody's expecting that. Except for you. Expecting yourself to be able to give that. It's, it's unnecessary. It's like somebody's putting stress and pressure on themselves. To what? To, to do the impossible? You know? Or to be perfect all the time? Nobody is perfect all the time. Nobody. I've said it many times before in my readings. Do not come here looking for perfection. I will let you down every time. I am not perfect. Right? I'm OCD, but I'm not perfect. Yeah, seven of cups. All these options in this confusion to the eight of cups. Walking away from it. Walking away from it. Moving in a different direction because this shit is just... It's out of this world. Like, look at how weird that that road is. <laughs> Where is this going? And how is it even getting there? Temperance. Yeah, this person really just, they need to know that you just want their time. You guys don't have to go out and have luxurious dates. You could pack some fucking PB&Js with a blanket and go have a little picnic right? Just lay in the sun together, cloud watching. You don't need all this big, bad stuff. You're like, I don't need steak and shrimp. Let's just grab a pizza. Everybody likes pizza. Don't even try it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, you guys. Um, we've got Aries, Leo, Capricorn, Cancer, Sagittarius, and Libra here. Oh, and um, Scorpio. I'm going to leave it here, though. I hope this message helps who it needs to how it needs to. I love you guys. Good luck with this conversation, those of you that need to have it and that will. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.